Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is midnight here on the homestead. It's Saturday night, and you can see my breath. It's currently 28 degrees outside. I just uh, checked the weather, and I can tell you it's cold. But uh, let's go inside the earth bag structure and see what the temperature is in here, and uh, I'll show you what's going on. All right. So I don't know why I'm talking so low. There's nobody out here but me. But uh, anyways, so uh, you can see in here, we got some stuff going on. Got uh, just been experimenting with different growing mediums and things like that. I, I got a bunch of things going on here. But uh, anyways, the temperature in here right now is... Let's see, that thing has got the temp on it. It's about 48 degrees in here. And, um, I mean, give or take. But, uh, yeah, it's a good 20 degrees warmer in here. Um, so, while it is still kind of chilly here, you know, 48 degrees is pretty pretty rough growing conditions for a lot of plants. But, um, I will say this, they will stay alive. Uh, most, most of the plants that I have, even pepper plants, they'll stay alive at this temperature but they'll the growth will be very very slow but uh you know just just to give you all an idea so <clears throat> right here we have yeah i just have some microgreens growing here this is just you know i'm just playing around with stuff right now but these are radishes uh broccoli uh, some kind of mustard green they call it wasabi but it's not real wasabi just to, that's what they call it um this is mixed salad and we got some sunflower sprouts here. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, and I got a bunch of other stuff here. Some failed experiments. But um, just really wanted to point out the, the big temperature difference in here and why this building, you know, is so important for this type of a setup. Because, you know, ultimately, I want to be able to just do exactly what I'm doing here, which is to... Just have the temperature, you know, controlled a little bit better and the conditions here are a lot more conducive for, for starting plants in here. And in the summertime, it's the same kind of thing where it'll be really hot outside, but in here, you know, we'll be at, you know, 15 to 20 degrees difference. So, um, and this is natural. I, I, I guess the most important thing to point out is I'm not, there's no inputs in here except for these lights and, uh, you know, I'm doing some incubation on some seeds and things, but as far as the temperature in here, um, you know, I don't have any heat on, I don't have anything going. So, um, it's, it's all just from thermal mass and, you know, just the way it is. So, uh, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's definitely late. So I'm just in here, like I said, uh, playing around, experimenting with different things. I'm keeping notes so I know what's going to do well, what isn't, that kind of thing. And I've turned my egg incubator into a seed germination station. Now, you can see right here, what's cool about this thing is that, I didn't realize this, but you can adjust the temperature on this uh, because for eggs, the most important thing is to keep a steady temperature when you're incubating them, which this that's what this does. But uh, actually, you can set this temperature down to the perfect germination temperature for most of the seeds I have, which is about 85 degrees. So, uh, yeah, this thing here, I just keep stuff in there and it germinates perfectly, um, you know, all the seeds. So I, I thought that was a cool second use for this thing. So got an old egg incubator laying around hopefully you know maybe you'll have that setting on yours um you can set it that way so i got this at tractor supply a while back uh here it is that one but um yeah i didn't i didn't even think about it because i was thinking about getting a heat mat for the for the seeds because one thing is i don't have you know because i don't have heating and cooling in here you know the seed germination was kind of a thing i had to figure out because that's the main hard part is getting the seeds to, to germinate. Once that's done, then, you know, I can keep stuff alive here uh, with the lights and everything. And I'm sure these lights are, you know, they do emit some heat. Like if you put your hand up here, you can feel heat coming from them. So I imagine they, they do have an effect on, on the temperature in here a little bit, um, you know, with this. So who knows? But um, I'm going to come in here. The real test will be in the morning when I come in here. Um, 
when it's as, when it's coldest in here be about probably about 4 a.m. or so. So if I get, I might be able to get up and come in here and check the temperature and see, you know, we're at 48 degrees right now. Um, you know, see where it's at then, and that'll give me a good indication. So, anyways, so all right, I'm just babbling now. Uh, get back to work here and over and out.